break down the Jets. The Jets' odds, futures-wise, to make the playoffs minus 184. So everybody thinks Aaron Rodgers is going to get into the playoffs. To miss the playoffs plus 148, their win total 9.5. Juice to the over minus 162. Under plus 132. The Bills are the favorite in the division at plus 165, plus 170 for the Jets to win the conference, plus 850. And they are 18 to 1 to win the Super Bowl. They were at 27 to 1. So let's talk about this team. Aaron Rodgers is back. They upgraded offensive tackle. Mike Williams is off a of pup. Have some questions about their wide receiver group. Defensively, terrific up front with Quentin Williams. Hassan Reddick comes to town. Talk to me here, Keg. What are you thinking with the Jets? It's very hard for me to be optimistic about this football team because I've been a lifelong fan since I'm five. But um, I'm optimistic, man. Listen, it's it's pretty insane that this team won seven games last year. I mean, in the most predictable New York Jets way ever, we lose Aaron Rodgers before the guy completes a single pass for the year, right? As a, as a, as a result... We were dead last in pass efficiency, dead last in the league in third downs, dead last in the league in red zone offense. And uh, they were the sixth most injured team last year. Um, And and we lost about 40 points of EPA. Now, there were good things that happened. We were fourth in takeaways last year. Uh, We only gave up about 12 points per game. And the Jets defense is sick. Now, we, we have six primetime games in the first 11 weeks. So um, they're going to be in the zeitgeist the first three quarters of the year. Because I don't know what that means. Them. That's German. But I don't know German. They, you know, they should start fast. The beginning of the schedule is much easier than the back end. And um, they're only at a rest deficit, like, for two of the first 13 games. But they were the second most penalized team in 2023. Fourth, fourth most turnovers on offense. So I, I'm I'm optimistic, and I think because of the defense, and if Rodgers can stay healthy, we shored up the offensive line. I think that this is the best roster in the AFC East for sure. Um, if Rodgers can stay healthy, and uh, I think we're going to the playoffs if he can stay healthy. Um, so in terms of action. I bet the Jets to win the division at plus 190. You got a number. I like the Jets win total over nine and a half games. It's a little juiced. It's minus 150. But if he stays healthy, I just don't see how they don't get there because they have a top five defense. Garrett Wilson is going to go berserk this year. And in terms of his stats, I like his season long number over 1125. And um, I like his 1250 plus Whoa. at plus 150. I would take a shot at 1500 if I saw a line. If I saw a line for it, this kid, we don't even know how good he is yet. He's one of 12 people in the history of the sport that have had over 1,040 yards his first two years. And when you look at this shit show list of people that have thrown him the football. We have no idea how good the kid really is. So, uh, yeah, high on the Jets. I think they win the division. Um, And I like Wilson's season-long numbers over. So a couple things to bring up. First of all, again, Keg is bleeding profusely from his mouth because of a cold sore. Uh, You said we. Why do you keep saying we? You could say we if you went to a college, but this is a professional team, my friend. How are we doing wheeze in the year of our Lord 2024? I'll tell you how. Why? Because when you've had this much heartache yeah. as a fan, right? Yeah. We're talking about a team that's got the longest streak uh, without going to the playoffs in the NFL. Mm-hmm. They have not won a championship since 69. You're talking about a, a, a group of people that have put their blood, sweat, and tears into this team. Yeah. And have literally gotten nothing in return. So I think we've earned the right to say we. No, you haven't. And here's why. First of all, why? I grew up a Jets fan as well. You're Freeman not a McNeil, you're Wesley Walker, Richard Todd, all the guys. Fugazi. I started playing fantasy football in 2003. I said, why the hell do I want to root for this garbage anymore? 
Screw them. Okay? The Jets are not winning a Super Bowl during our lifetime. I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying. It's not happening. But they'll be a good team this year if Rodgers stays on the field. He doesn't stay on the field, they're dead again. Dead in the water. But maybe the best thing that ever happened, Keg, is that Zach Wilson's out of town. The MILF hunter can no longer do any damage. You didn't talk about the loss of the MILF hunter. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, what's there to talk about? Just get him him out. Get him out. He's not here anymore. Let him go. Yeah. I mean. It's our boy Joey work. A couple things I need to tell you about. First of all, like this video so you get good mojo for the rest of the day. If you don't, not going to be good for you. Second of all, subscribe to our YouTube channel because Newt the House, the live programming for the NFL is coming up. The website is dropping next week. <laughs> I cannot wait. It's going to be the best. And then uh, follow us on X at Nuke the House. Next team to get to, Keg Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen. Does he have any weapons? No Diggs, no Gabe Davis, although Gabe Davis was a complete enigma. To make the playoffs, the Bills minus 164. To miss them, plus 134. Win totals 10 and a half over, plus 22, under minus 50. Win the division, plus 165. Again, they're the favorites. Keg likes the Jets. To win the conference, plus 750. To win the Super Bowl, 15 to 1. Uh, here was the interesting thing last year, and I want to start defensive or offensively with them. When Joe Brady took over as the offensive coordinator last year, they ran the ball almost 52% of the time, second in the NFL. Do we see a little old school approach here with more running the football and defense? Because I, I think the Chargers are going that way, and I think it's going to be quite a few teams that start moving that direction again. I don't know how much of a choice the Buffalo Bills have. I mean, their their number one wideout is Shakir. Like it's Shakir, Keon Coleman, and and Curtis Samuel. That th- those are the weapons that you have now. Obviously, uh, I think Claypool is there, right? Uh, Valdez Scantling is there, but mm-hmm. like if you look at the depth chart, like they're they're right now at least they're second and third string. So I, I I don't know the answer to that. For for everything that the Buffalo Bills went through last season, they were exactly where they wanted to be in in the playoffs at home against KC, winning the game with a quarter to play, and it still didn't matter. Uh, against the team that that looked like they were prime for the taking and it felt like last season was was the year for the bills to finally get over the hump and this season it feels like an uphill battle to get back there despite josh allen obviously being one of the best quarterbacks in the league and like the the bills have one unit that is projected to to be in the top 10 in the league this year and that that's horrific, and and it's a a gigantic change from a year ago. They had five positional units last year ranked in the top ten, so the Bills could be in real trouble. They they were also the worst team in the league last season, allowing quarterback pressure uh, in less than two and a half seconds of time, and and they've lost, like you said, they've lost a ton of weapons, and they need to not only hope that Keon Coleman is the real deal, but like that he's going to be the real deal soon. Joe, I think Joe Brady should have should have the team in play action much more than his predecessor because that's kind of Brady's MO. I, I you know, I think they do have some things to build to build on from a year ago um for the defense. They they ranked 10th in pressure rate last year. The defense also was ranked I think 5th in EPA per dropback. So the defense has bright spots to build on. Um, albeit few and far between. But my biggest concern is what you said at the top. They they just don't have, like Gabe Davis gone, Diggs gone. They just don't have the weapons, I think, this year to really help Josh Allen do what he's capable of doing. Uh, so in terms of futures, nothing here I really like. I think that the win total's probably right. So no action there. And I, I just can't pick them over the New York Jets to win this division. I can't. They're, do that. they're a playoff team, but we're not laying minus 64 to bet that. At least that's my opinion. I think they're still a playoff team. They could be. They could be. But like, when's the last, when's the last time a playoff team had those weapons? They're bad weapons. But again, running the ball, defense, 
Josh Allen could kind of carry these guys. And that's where we are with the Bills. Next team, the Miami Dolphins to make the playoffs minus 38 to miss plus 112. Win total nine and a half over minus 22 under even money. Win the division plus 210. The conference 14 to one. The Super Bowl 24 to one. Tua gets the extension. Third straight year in this offense. They add Jonu Smith on the other side. The question is, is the pass rush going to be as good with Christian Wilkins gone? What's your take on the Dolphins, who were Jekyll and Hyde last year? Great start. Could not finish. Yeah, I mean, dis- despite the struggle down the stretch, obviously they, they lost the last five games in a row late in the year. They snuck into the playoffs. Uh, nobody took them seriously, despite, like, prolific offensive numbers. And predictably, they got rolled uh, against Casey in, in, in the wild card round. Uh, I, one of the things they have going for them is they have the eighth easiest schedule in the league, which should help them. Uh, but the offensive line as a unit is projected to be ranked 25th. That's not good, man. Uh, but, but knowing how vulnerable Tua is to, to concussions, they, they made a conscious effort to get the ball out of his hands faster in 2023. As a result, he was the second fastest QB in the league last year, really getting the football out of his hands. Uh, so they're going to need to do that again and often if they want this offense to succeed because the offensive line is butt cheeks. Um, what, what's, what, what is wild is despite the bad offensive line play last year, they were ranked second in EPA per rush attempt. But I, I, think, that, I think that they looked better last year than the offensive line actually is. This, the story all uh, year last season was like the inability to, to beat good teams. This team was 10 and one last year against teams that did not make the playoffs. They were one in five against teams that did make the playoffs. That's not going to cut it this year. And I, I don't see how they beat the elite of this league a, a, again. I think they're a half step behind them. Um, can the Dolphins get back to the playoffs? Sure. Uh, that offense is as, as legit as it gets, e- e- even with the bad offensive line play. Um, but I have, I have my concerns. It would not shock me if Miami didn't go to the playoffs this year. Uh, in terms of the win total, again, kind of feels right to me. Don't think there's any value there. Uh, can't pick them to win to beat, uh, the Jets, but I will give you, I, I will give you one sleeper. Five, I think, of the last six years, the defensive rookie of the year in this league has been an edge rusher. I think you could find Chop Robinson out there at about 20 to 1. I don't hate it, man. I don't hate it. Is he going to be, is he, should he be the favorite to get the award? No. But is he live because of how good he is and the position he plays? I think he is. So, okay, Keg. I don't I'm mind done with the take. Dolphins. I'm done with them. You're going to take that as your pick. Your rookie of the year. Defensive yep. rookie of the year. Yep. Beautiful. I'm also done with the Patriots, but I guess we got to talk about them real quick. To make the playoffs 250 to 1. Second longest odds to make the playoffs. Panthers at 301. Um, I should say for the Super Bowl. That's for the Super Bowl. To miss the playoffs. <laughs> it's just, it's not even minus 1,800. Win totals four and a half. Drake May's a story, no Belichick, but the defense really kept them in a lot of games last year. Uh, what about a best bet for the Patriots? Anything? The Patriots are in trouble. They, they, not only are they bad, which they are, they have the second toughest schedule in the league last, uh, this year. They are not favored in one football game this season. Um, I, I think that their season win total under is probably buy on at four and a half. I just don't see now. Now everybody's like, Keg, that's so low. True. But they are in the bottom three in over half the positional unit rankings by unit in the league this year. In the bottom three. So I just don't see. I just don't see. Listen, can, can uh, obviously J- Jacoby Brissett probably going to start at, at the beginning of the year. 
Drake May is going to come in at some point. If he's the real deal, could they win a few more games this year than we thought? Maybe. But all reports out of training camp is he's way behind than 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 what they thought he would. They think that Joe Milton looks better. Um, so I'm not optimistic about about Drake May. I I'll say this to not spend a lot of time on this team. Please. I think I think that the <laughs> I think that the the season win total under four and a half at plus one twenty five is, is is worth betting. And if you don't bet that. You could go under five and a half at minus one eighty, and and you know tie it to something that you like, like KC to win uh, the division or something like that. So, but but other than that, yeah, I, I, you know, I I could talk about them for please the next don't. twenty please, minutes. Please no, I'm done with the Patriots. We talked about the Patriots for twenty years. Okay, we finally got to break them from the Patriots. 